Ancient legends say that when orcas swam to the shore, they transformed into human beings. These majestic creatures were accepted by tribesmen. They were revered as ferocious warriors. Some say she is an orca that emerged from the depths of the ocean because she is determined and willful. Orcas will sometimes go to shores to catch their prey, and she will catch her prey with such tenacity. Sometimes her stubbornness and eagerness gets the best of her. Still, no one can deny she is a warrior. Just like a queen orca, she wants to be strong for her family, strong for her friends, strong for creatures weaker than her, strong for the things she isn't expected to care for. She will try to embrace everything as far as her two arms would allow. But sometimes she feels the waves against her, responsibility and pressure crashing down like tides rifting in a storm. Then she finds herself entrapped in a net of worries, fear, captivates her in an aquarium. Anxiety makes her play tricks for display. Failure breaks her spirit apart. People try to tame her, turn her into things that were never in her nature. She sinks to the bottom of her small fish tank, dreaming of the day she'll meet the sea again. But no orcas are kept in the aquariums forever. The Native Americans once said that orcas are guardians of the ocean. And that's exactly what she will be, a guardian of her ocean, a guardian of passion and support. Of course, she will need the help of her pod who will swim by her side. And one day, she will roam the seven seas. Just like an orca.